I was walking into the locker room and all I saw was Coach Bedford jumping around, pushing people out the way, and he grabbed Patrick and threw him in the middle of like a circle he made. Let's go, baby. Sometimes he'll like give us little bits and pieces of it, but he's never just full out did it, and I wasn't expecting it honestly. aggressive right here, but it's it a lot of fun. It kind of pumps me up, you know? And like seeing him do it, just, it's like I get kind of, some kind of energy from him. He gets some real amped up, so I mean, he can do all he wants to, as long as he gets him ready for the game. If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. He is frightening. <laughs> That's Large nice. and intense. That's nice. It's the soon-to-be sophomore offensive lineman, Patrick Vahe. Patrick, thank you so much for joining us. No we see that video there. It's intense. I want to take you back to a quote, though, leading up to National Signing Day from last year when you said, at first I was scared of Charlie Strong, but after getting to know him, I realized that he's just there to help you out. Were you really scared of the guy? Because you seem pretty scared yourself. Oh, yes. Uh, being a big guy myself, you know, not a lot of things intimidate me. But seeing Coach Strong, the way that he wants to run this program, yeah, I got a lot to be afraid of. But, you know, just getting to know him, knowing his plan, you know, it was good. So how, how do you win you over? Uh, just basically just talking to me, getting on, uh, being a player's coach, basically, you know, just being able to know my, my goals in life and all. And so him talking to me and I'm comfortable with that, you know, it just made me want to go with him. One thing that was clear, your mindset. You know, I remember Lola and I went out to fall camp practices, and it was clear to see that you, you were just playing at a different level. You came in here. It's very hard to adjust as a freshman out the offensive line position. Talk about what gave you the confidence to be able to come in, step in, and play as early as you did, and then have an impact as well. Uh, it's just basically like um, my mentality, you know. Uh, coming in here, I had a goal, and I was just to be the best I can be. And um, just coming in, you know, the players welcomed me with open arms. And that's what kind of drove me as well. You know, I got to do it for the guys next to me. For my left and my right, I got to keep playing along. That's what happened. They took care of me. So it, it's an early morning here, National Signing Day. You guys have already gotten a workout in. You guys have accomplished more today than I'll probably accomplish all week. <laughs> all right, so now that you've, you've you're passed your freshman year, you're, you're going into your sophomore season, you started a lot of football games. How do you continue to improve on that and build on that as you move forward as a player? Uh, just to build character with everybody, you know. If everybody's motivated, they'll motivate you. And so it's just like a, it's just like karma, you know. You get, you do you do this, they're gonna do this as well. And then next you know you're just gonna build as a team, and that's what happens. How much do you know at this point about the direction of the offense under Coach Gilbert? It's gonna be fast. It's gonna be very fast. That's all I know. And uh, we just gotta work fast. We gotta be the fastest team in the Big 12. And uh, that's what we keep telling ourselves every morning and every afternoon that we work out. We just gotta be sure that you gotta be fast, quick. You're a big guy. How's that going? <laughs> oh, man, I still got a long way to go, but hey, it's a challenge, but you know, I'm not afraid of no challenges. Describe the energy around this program, because we know the past two years have been struggles, and you obviously weren't here two years ago, but you were part of last year's team. But it seems like you guys are on the same page, and for as early as it was out there around 5 a.m., there was an energy. Describe that. Uh, it's just the energy of people want change, you know. Um, you know, last year we didn't we didn't end out the season as, as well as we wanted to, but you know, the thing that we wanted to change is just like how we approach things. We want to make sure that when we go out, we're gonna bring that hype with us. We bring that hype with us, the coaches gonna get hype, we're just gonna be hyped together. We just wanna make things fun again around here. So that's one of the things that we're trying to change. Bringing the hype, bringing the hockey. Mm -hmm. how, how much did it help to have a guy in your class? And, and, and most people that are sitting at home don't know the pride that players take in their class. The guys that you come in with, to have another person in your class to come in that also got some snaps and Connor Williams and also was a, was a staple on the offensive line. How have you guys bonded and how was that relationship formed and, and, and how are you guys going to move forward as leaders now on this offensive line? Uh, we knew we had a big job to, uh, to handle whenever we came in. And as soon as Coach entrusted us with that, that position, you know, we just want to make sure that we, we don't let anybody down. That's, that's a big thing because we take pride in what we wear on our chest whenever we put that uniform on. Uh, Coach, told, Coach Moore told us that um, the shirts that we wore for workouts, we got to represent what's on our back, and that's Texas. And we got to make sure that we just have pride in everything that we do. When did you realize that you were ready to play on the offensive line as a true freshman, which is incredibly rare for any major program? Oh, man. For, 
I was really scared Notre Dame game. <laughs> That's when it really happened. Really? That's when everything just came to reality. First play, I just I just realized I'm starting. <laughs> yeah. You better so, be ready. <laughs> so next thing you know, like after our first play, I knew I had to step up more and more every day that go, that goes by. I just got to make sure I step up, get so, better. So when did it slow down for you, where you felt more comfortable in that role? Oh, uh, it never slowed down. I was yeah. I was always afraid of my position being taken away, but I wasn't afraid of who's going to take it away from me because I know they're going to they're going to play the role that I played. So I just want to make sure that we all just get better together. So. I wasn't afraid of anything. So you got some offensive linemen joining you in this recruiting class. What's your message to them? I just told them, let's ride. That's all I got to tell them. It's like, <laughs> if you come out here, you can come out here with us. If we die, we die together. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's the mentality that That's great. Charlie Strong is bringing to this Texas program with guys like yourself. Patrick, thank you so much for joining us on our National Signing Day coverage. Pleasure.